In this video we're going to talk about energy absorption and dissipation. <clears throat> and we're going to use a moment curvature plot to aid in our discussion. As you can remember with reinforced concrete members our moment curvature plot will come up and uh, be linear until cracking, will crack, and we'll have another linear range until yield, and then we'll kind of level off. So. Um, this will be our actual behavior. Um, so what we can do and what we will do here is we'll approximate our behavior as elastic uh, plastic. And we'll call this point MY and our yield curvature phi Y and then our ultimate curvature phi max. Um, so let's say as well, so we're going to be working with the blue graph. And let's say then that we unload and just for the point of this example, let's say that we unload um, also uh, elastically, although this is not, would not really be the case. So energy absorption is the total area under the moment curvature plot. Um, not taking into account any kind of load reversal. So in our case, this area would be um, equal to uh, the area that I'm enclosing with red here. So if we were to calculate the actual energy absorption, um, we need to find the area. So we would have the area of our rectangle, or our first rectangle here to the right, and this triangle section here. So we would have our energy absorption equal to my times phi max minus phi y, the area of the rectangle, plus my times phi y over 2. So we can simplify this and find it equal to my times phi y times our curvature ductility uh, minus one half, where our curvature ductility is equal to our phi max divided by our phi y. This is curvature ductility. So our curvature ductility is a pretty good measure of uh, the ductility of the section um, as it tells us how much inelastic deformation uh, can occur before failure. Um, so a higher curvature ductility will mean a more ductile section. We next have our um, energy dis dissipation. Uh, so the difference between energy absorption and energy dissipation is the energy absorption takes in or, in, or the energy dissipation takes into account uh, load reversal. Um, so while we have the uh, red enclosed area being the area for our um, energy uh, absorption, our um, energy dissipation would only include our enclosed area. So let's say I'm enclosed by uh, what I'm now darkening in blue. So this area would be our, our dissipation. Um, so our energy dissipation we can find then to be uh, my times phi max minus phi y. And you can see that we're taking off an equal triangle here. So we just lose this other, the second term. And we can find that our um, energy dissipation is then equal to my phi y times our curvature ductility minus one. Um, so this is just a, a simple example of how we can find and calculate our energy absorption and energy dissipation um, from a moment curvature diagram.